hey there, this is Bakari Shibanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular episode, I'm going to talk about a productivity website called Start.me, which provides a convenient and quick way to bookmark pages and save notes and images and RSS feeds. So definitely you want to check this out. Alright, so um, one of the things that I have always had a problem with is bookmarks in any web browser for that matter, particularly uh, Safari. And I've never been able to sufficiently organize my bookmarks and access them quickly. And so one of my readers passed along to me a site called start.me. And basically what it does is, is that you're able you to just, you know, save web websites, uh, save notes and images and things of that sort. And you can go to the, you know, to the site and you can, you know, set up an account. I use my Apple uh, account, a login account here to do that. And then basically it open up with some, a lot of different examples of uh, already made pages that you can just use or get rid of, or you can start totally blank as well. But uh, again, you know, you see that this here just has um, RSS feed. It has uh, bookmarks here, uh, different bookmarks here. The weather here it has some widgets for weather and travel and things of that sort. And so, and then you can create as many different pages as you want. So let me kind of hop over to my page here and let's get rid of that. So this is my page here so far and I have um, several pages here set up. And basically in the past, what I would have is I would have like these collections here, for example, in Safari and I have all my little bookmarks set up here and they were just so difficult to reach because, you know, they're, you know, you have to, you have to kind of figure out that where they are and I tried to organize them the best I could and that worked for, worked for a while. But for, for me, with start.me, I have a visual display of the bookmarks that I, you know, kind of. Uh, go to the to the most right and I can kind of organize them a way to kind of make sense for me and this is what's really great it's kind of like this is kind of my you know brain if you will in terms of online brain right of all the things that I'm kind of accessing or need access to and sometimes I've you know bookmark stuff you know up here in my favorite bookmarks and I can't find it I, I forget the name of the site or whatever and I really need to see it and so then I can just put it in a, an appropriate place and put them there so Basically, with this, you can create is you go to your personal, uh, you know, uh, pages here, and you can go to hit the little button here, and you can create as many pages um, as you want. See, and so you can do that. And I think that on the free account, you get a lot with the free account. So I'm going to tell you what's on the pro, but you can pretty much start this for free and it won't cost you a dime and get quite a lot done. Now, I only got the pro for just a couple of features, and plus, I want to support. The developers anyway because I want I want to see this grow now this is star.me is nothing new um, it's been around you know remember back in the day if you're old as I am you know Google used to have um, used to have something similar and you know I don't know why they got rid of it but uh, you could create different widgets and and things of that sort and you could add to it and it was totally free but they totally got rid of it so I guess you know this company started it over again and it's and it's some other sites that are similar to this one but this is the one that I like the best um, and so you can create you know they have a, a lot of different widgets for bookmarks news feed notes uh, to-do list um, and then, you know, if you have the pro account, you get uh, even more here. And I got it because I wanted to add an image gallery uh, to it because I like, I like images. So it makes it a little bit easier to add those. And I think you can add, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, a, a clock, um, weather and things of that sort to the pro account as well. But you get quite a lot just for the... Um, you know, just for the free account, you can do also Google tasks and your Google calendar, those kind of things. So you have a lot of different widgets that you can add to it and uh, you can add them from here or you can, you know, if you have on, on your page, you can just, you can just kind of click, you can right click and, um, add a new page or you can copy a page or you can, you know, go to other widgets and you can, you can organize your widgets here. Or you can just click here and then add a widget here and do it that way. So, you know, you add your widget. Say you want to do um, a widget for bookmarks and then you just kind of give it a name and you and you put here and you can just start adding your bookmarks. So you can add it up here, you know, put the URL there, title, that kind of thing. 
and the description if you want. And usually it will it will bring in the little Fivercon there. Um, or you can, you know, you can add your own Fivercon as well if you want to change it. So that's, that's really nice and neat to do that. Um, and once you got them in there, it's really you know, easy to go in and you can kind of, uh, you, you can kind of customize the background here. So if, you know, if I wanted to change that color to red, I can do that. I can change the opacity, um, down like here. Um, you can also go in and look at, uh, the display settings and go to list detail icon cloud um you know small medium large so it goes like this what it looks like when it's small there and get large really big there so it's up to you in terms of that i played around with these a lot um to just kind of fit based on what the widget is and what the content of the widget widget is i wish they um had kind of a default um kind of uh i know, wish you could set up a default kind of presentation or display if you want it so that you can just apply it really quickly so you have to unfortunately you have to kind of you know whichever your um you have to kind of go in and set up each one how you like it so it's no real you know you can't set your own default that's my point and so anyway uh, i wish they had that but but uh, so you can add those kind of things and you can and of course you can move these around if you want and just grab it and you know you can move it around over here and then click on it here and you can move it there really quickly and then you can also go in here and um you can move them to other uh you can copy or move them to 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 your other uh um, pages here so if i go here it'll load the page and you can click and ch choose your page and where you want it to go um, on that page so you'll see that when you once you get into it so and that's really nice now one of the things that was holding me up at first is that i didn't think they had an extension for safari a lot of these uh you know online applications like this don't always have an extension for, for safari because it's i think it's a little more of a challenge to have them i know they have a chrome extension and a firefox extension but they do have a bookmarklet for um you know for for safari so say i wanted to save this i wanted to bookmark this page here so i just click the little bookmark it bookmarklet and i renamed it here but anyway um so you know here's the you know here's the here's the the page that i'm going to bookmark and then i go in and you know i go up to say i want to i want to save it to uh miscellaneous bookmarks right there and so this is miscellaneous bookmark and then you add it Okay, so it's added, and then I go back to it here, and I refresh the page. Let's see where it is. Okay, so it appears right here. So and, and so that's that's how you do it. So you can pretty much bookmark anywhere you want, um, and it's really cool to do that. Um, one of the things that I do is I keep my page right here on the first tab, and the reason why I do that because I utilize, I utilize a better touch tool finger gesture, of course, because you know I'm a big heavy user of a better touch tool. And so that means that I can do, if I'm say I'm on this page here and I want to quickly get over to this page here. So I do a four finger swipe to the left, right? And what that will do is get me to that page really, really quickly. And so I really love uh, that. And I think that what I did with that, um, if, I'm, if I'm correct, let me see. All right. So here, here you go here. So basically here's how I got it set up, but actually I have this, um, this is a little more complicated, but I have it mapped to a um, keyboard maestro uh, uh, a configuration to make that happen. So what I will do when I set this up, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link to um, how to, some information about how to set this up uh, with the if you know if you're interested, let me know if you're interested, and I'll set up a link about how to set this up and map it between the uh, keyboard maestro and um, uh, better touch tool. All right, so, but basically within, you know, it's based set up that within, within any application I'm on, all I got to do is a four finger swipe to the left, right? And it'll go to that particular page. Let me show you one more time. So let's say I'm in, uh, I'm in better touch tool and I want to get back to that page. So I'll go here. And you see it switched to that to that uh, to the first tab. So you can set that up in Keyboard Maestro. Then you can map it over to Better Touch Tool, and you're good to go. So that's just one extra little extra tip that you want to know about. But other than that, this is just really a really great uh, starter. I went on ahead and got the Pro account, which I think you can get it for twenty dollars a year 
or pay $60 for a lifetime. And so I just went on ahead and got it for the lifetime because I know I'll be using this for at least three years unless something else comes out better. Um, but I'll be using it for quite a while. And I think that, again, if you kind of struggle to keep up with your bookmarks or you want to just a really quick way to, you know, to, to, to kind of, um, you know, part, book, um, add notes to something or keep track of notes or what have you, RSS feeds, you can do that. They have the RSS feeds over here and you can add those as well. Um, one of the things about the RSS feed is that, you know, you, you, on, you only get the ones I think that they already have set up. I don't think you can just put any RSS feed in there. It looks like you only could add the ones that are set up and they have them for news, business, lifestyle, tech, and science. I tried adding a couple of my own RSS feeds that didn't appear in this list and they didn't add well. So I'm not sure about that. But anyway, that's something else extra you can have as well. And then if you get the pro account as well, you can you can have what's called a group. So you can have like, I have one group here, it's called current tabs or current bookmarks that I use. But here's one is um, archive, which I don't use that much, but I don't want to lose it because I might have to come back to it, right? So, um, you know, so you can do that with the pro account as well. So if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the um, comments below and uh, let me know what you think of start.me. Thanks a lot and I'll see you around.